Welcome to the Greybud Auctions Singles Club. Uh, in our last vinyl auction, uh, we concentrated mostly on 12-inch LPs, uh, but this time we've been privileged to be able to go out and see clients who've got amazing singles collections. Uh, the first ones we're going to talk about are from the, uh, the lifelong collection of a noted journalist by the name of Rick Sanders, uh, sadly no longer with us. Uh, Rick was a big part of the counterculture scene in terms of writing when he first started out. Uh, working for Rolling Stone amongst other magazines uh, and well renowned throughout his industry but uh, when he was done the Beat magazine he was a singles reviewer and it's hard to imagine that bands like the Beatles for instance needed to send what he's called plugger singles out uh, for people to do reviews of in the magazines incredible uh, and he's got some fantastic stuff in this collection we've been having a wonderful time going through it so exciting uh, at the top on Parlophone Records, normally a black label with silver writing. The fact it's a green label with a huge white A on it will tell you it's an advanced copy of the Christmas 1967 number one single, Hello, Goodbye. Um, just a great record. Again, it's the Beatles, what more can you say? Um, that one in itself, we're thinking somewhere in the region of an estimate of six to eight hundred pounds on that particular copy. It's in beautiful condition uh, in a generic in MI sleeve die cut. Uh, it's been played once, I would imagine, if anything else. And down below it again, interesting that they follow on. Uh, the next single recorded after Hello Goodbye for the start of 1968, that was Lady Madonna, another Paul McCartney song. Uh, once again, we've got a Parlophone Records green label, Advanced White A, I tell you it's a, a demonstration copy in a generic die cut EMI sleeve, uh, a fantastic thing. It's in the 1,000 to 1,200 pounds mark and worth every penny of it. <clears throat> now in this collection, sometimes it's about going through and doing the hard hours and you get boxes and boxes of the things you've got to sift through. Uh, and people always trying to help you out and pull the cream things out so they think at the very, very beginning. Uh, but on this one, it was one I found. Now, rare enough in a picture cover, it's Pink Floyd, the legendary Pink Floyd in the first incarnation, led by the wonderful Sid Barrett, superb. Uh, Columbia Records, advanced copy demonstration of apples and oranges. Uh, one of the rarest Pink Floyd singles, and there are a couple more Pink Floyd in the uh, in the sale as well in March. Uh, just such a rare thing, believe me. Uh, in wonderful condition, a bit of age-related wear and a mild stain into the cover, uh, but nothing you wouldn't expect after over 50 years. And again, we're estimating somewhere between 1,400 and 1,600 pounds on that particular record. Again, you find one, you won't. Last but by no means least, we're talking game changes throughout. In that little EMI sleeve, there's a record that shook the foundations of music and the tremors are still being felt way back in 1976. The Sex Pistols were on just about every label in the country, I think, at that point. Uh, and then their British spell at EMI. Uh, Anik in the UK became their first single. Not the first punk single. Uh, the first punk single is always uh, reputed to be uh, the Damn New Rose. And we do have a demonstration copy of the Damn New Rose in the sale in March as well in its picture sleeve. But they're beautifully simple, a very, very early pressing indeed of Anik in the UK by the Sex Pistols in its original die cut uh, sleeve or bag, whichever way you want to call it. And again, we've got an estimate of between three to five hundred pounds on that particular one. So there's plenty more, believe me. Uh, the Rick Sanders collection has got to be seen to be believed. But there's four real tasters of the quality that you've got to come on March the 7th.